Hi everyone! I know it's been a while since you've seen my face, so I just wanted to start doing some videos that uh, show you my face without a mask on, and I thought that it'd be a good idea to, for getting little ones prepared for doing photographs, for you to actually show them videos of me being silly, <laughs> showing them what I'll do at the photography session. It's good to kind of get to know your photographer before you do your, your photos. And especially for little ones that are a little bit shy, haven't been around a lot of people in the last, say, year, and uh, that just need to get a little bit of coaxing out of their shell, it's good to, uh, yeah, show them these silly videos that I'm going to be making. So I thought I would start right at the beginning, so for newborns, uh, they're not going to really care or know what's going on. They're, all they're going to care about is that they have a full belly, that they are being nice and warm, that they're clean, that they're snuggly. Uh, so I basically, what you're going to hear during that kind of session is me being like, oh, you're so cute. Oh, look at that little princess. Oh, look at this little man. And you'll also hear the white noise. So that's kind of it for newborn sessions. Okay, so for the kind of zero, like just after newborn to six month, um, it's going to be a lot of trying to get their eyesight following me. So it's going to be a lot of hello, hello cutie, hello, and clapping, and ooh, 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 ooh. I just, I'm, yeah, I learned a long, long time ago when I started family photography uh, over 10 years ago now that you just cannot have any shame when you if you need to get a smile you need to do anything that you can to get a smile so um little ones in that kind of zero to six month uh where they're just starting to smile they're they're going to be a little bit less frequent than after that kind of six month when they're getting nice big happy smiley personalities so after we've kind of got their eye line following me then um I will, uh, in these kind of times, I will be getting the parents to kind of go up and be pinching their cheeks and tickling them and getting their little chins and, um, yeah, so all of those kind of things get them kind of getting smiley and uh, sometimes songs. So I, the number one song that I'm sure if you're a client of mine, you would have heard me sing is if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So that's uh, that kind of zero to six month age group. <laughs> So for the six month to kind of one and a half age group, uh, you're going to see a lot of peekaboo. So a lot of peekaboo, uh, boo, uh, also the farting noises, they're, they're, they're just good for every age group. But anyway, so there's the peekaboo and I'm going to come get ya. I'm going to come and tickle, 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 tickles. Of course, at the moment, I'm trying to stay away as much as I can. Uh, so often I'll then get the parents to actually do the tickling. Uh, but so the I'm going to cut up with the tickle monster. The tickle monster is going to come and get you. Uh oh, the tickle monster is going to Uh oh. The songs again. So that if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And I think this is probably the favorite in the six to one and a half age group. So animal sounds for that six to one and a half kind of age group, doing the ooh, 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 where's the monkey? Ooh, 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 ooh. And sometimes uh, really getting like my whole body into in there, like the, you know, doing the running around with the, the monkey, that kind of gets their attention to me, especially if they're getting distracted by you know, any of the props that are around or by siblings. I really love photographing that six to kind of one and a half age group. It's just, they're really showing their personalities and they're, you know, starting to sit up, starting to walk, starting to like be a little bit more active. So that can uh, be 
yeah, just so much fun and I loved photographing it. And I do have that as part of my first year package as well. Um, it can be done obviously as part of mini sessions or regular family sessions. Uh, so if you're interested, let me know. Okay, so this video is about my antics for that kind of toddler age group. So I am definitely well versed in the toddler age group. I've been photographing them for at least 10 years. With that kind of toddler age group, when they're super active, we do end up running after them a lot. And we do end up getting lots of candids and um, I do end up being a bit louder and a bit bigger just to really capture their attention. I, obviously I try to start slow and soft and build up to where we need it to. I always say as well, because people often will bring snacks or little bribes um, to keep them until we need them. So don't right at the very beginning of the session say to them, okay, if you do this, we're gonna get McDonald's on the way home. Uh, although that's always a fun uh, thing to do. Uh, just keep that in your back pocket for towards the end of the session. <laughs> The tickles is also a, a good little play that the I'm gonna come and get you, get you, get you, get you. But again, right now I'm trying not to actually touch or come in contact with anyone, so getting the parents to do it and um, even like pretending to tickle the parents, even if they're not in the photos, if mom's like over here behind me, I, I'm gonna come and tickle mommy, like whatever. And then um, you know, any other silly animals that I can think of at the time. The woof 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 is always one that I break out with. Um, and then uh, the songs, so um, E-I-E-I-O and the, you know, anything other, any other different songs that they might like um, to calm them down. Sometimes doing any of the songs that would you, you would usually play for them to slow down at, at night time. So doing the so yeah, toddlers are a lot of fun. It is harder for you at home to capture them. So it's such a great age to make sure that you do get a photography session with a photographer who is well versed in getting all of the toddler antics captured and uh, being able to deal with getting those smiles from the toddlers. Um, so yeah, don't, don't uh, miss out on that really special stage of them really developing their personalities. Okay, so getting a little bit older now, so in between the toddler and kind of getting, you know, a little bit older age group. So the fart sounds, number one, is gonna be my go-to, uh, blaming it even on certain people or on myself. And um, yeah, making like silly, silly jokes. Uh, and saying, so because often by the time they're, you know, three onwards, they can, um, you know, they are stopping to speak more. So being able to get them to say, uh, not cheese, I try not to break out the cheese unless we have to, uh, but yeah, getting them to say silly things that'll just get the natural laugh before they even have to say it. So like hairy legs or stinky feet or other anything else that I can think of at the time that's silly. So um, yeah, that kind of, that age group, it's starting to get a little bit harder natural smiles. So that again is a really uh, important time to make sure that you're getting a professional to take photographs uh, that can get those natural smiles for you and get those candid moments. Cause by then they are often a little bit more used to having cameras or phones around that they will do the, like super cheesy smile. So um, yeah, getting a professional at that kind of three onwards age group is uh, very important. Okay, so a school age and up. So from school age and up, it is getting harder to get natural smiles. It depends on how much they like taking photographs. So this is where I'm gonna say it's good to show them a behind the scenes video of me working or even this silly video um, 
to show them that it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be painful. We can do it super fast. The sooner we get natural smiles, the sooner they can leave. Um, that's often a little bit more kind of teenager age, <laughs> but can be for youngers too. But um, yeah, so getting that kind of school age and up, uh, they are a lot more cooperative. They are a lot more bribable as well, if if you're into that. They are often the bigger kids helping the younger ones. So really saying like, preparing them before the session that, okay, you're, you're the big brother. You're gonna be such a good boy because you need to help your little sister to get the smiles. And um, just preparing them before the session is a really good thing to do with all age groups, but especially with the school age group. Okay, so then, um, to get the smiles with them. Fart noises, I know, right? And then uh, again, the silly, again, say silly things, getting to, them to talk of it to me. So what's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite video game? Like trying to understand what they like and uh, trying to make them smile from that. Okay, so for teenagers, they are definitely more difficult if they don't want to be there. <laughs> Often teenagers will just grin and bear it because they know already the sooner they smile, the sooner they're out of there. Um, and especially it's good to do it for Mother's Day or doing it for a birthday present uh, can often help with that age group. For Mother's Day, just try and get them talking about their lives, not so much like what's your favorite color, but more, you know, what's your favorite thing about school or what's your favorite extracurricular activity. Yeah, just trying to relate to them and not talking down to them at all, not doing fart noises. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just trying to, get to their level and get through the session as quickly as possible so they can get back to their lives. <laughs>